Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. If this happens to be your first time visiting, welcome to Sempre Infinitos DIY. I am so happy that you chose to stop by and hang out with me. So today I have a really quick and easy video for you. I want to share with you how to make a pretzel. So here I have a pool noodle and I'm going to be doing is just to cut the half of well, I'm not going to cut half. I'm going to actually cut it in half. And that's a two inch foam ball. And then I'm just going to glue each piece on each side. And I'm going to use crazy glue. I did try to use tacky glue, but it wasn't really working. So I had to use something a little bit stronger. Now, this is not technically what I'm going to be using. But if you do not have a styrofoam that looks um, so something like this, then you can use the... Uh, pool noodle <laughs> how to think about it okay so this uh styrofoam i actually got it from hobby lobby it's a five inch and here i have also a styrofoam now these balls uh foam balls i got them from the dollar tree hobby lobby also sells them but the dollar tree is a lot cheaper uh, and then this my tacky glue did work on the styrofoam so I just went ahead and used that but for whatever reason I guess because the punoro is a little bit thicker and it's made out of some type of rubber I, I don't know but really of type, it's a different type of foam I know that it wasn't really holding uh, so I had to use the crazy glue for that but for this easy tacky glue so once that is drying i am going to go right ahead and just mix my clay up I, my brown clay was a little bit too dark so i just grabbed some white and mixed it up uh, making sure that it's conditioned well you want to make sure to condition your clay very well you want to make sure there's no bubbles uh, or any lines like that because once it dries up it's going to uh separate or not separate but you'll start seeing gaps so you or lines and marks you don't really want that so you want to make sure to uh, condition your clay very well okay so the only thing I'm doing here is just going to wrap it halfway because the rest I'm going to use a uh, white clay you can wrap the whole thing in brown if you want but I feel like that's just going to be a waste of clay because we are going to be wrapping it in white clay as well and I want mine to have more of I, well, I'm going to be actually making two different ones. One is going to be more like for not Easter, but like a spring. You know, I'm trying to go with a cotton candy, actually. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using. And I'm also going to be using this in my uh, tree. Not in my Easter tree, because obviously Easter is over. But for my spring, you know, and stuff like that. And then the other, I'm also going to be making in a different color. Uh, well the sprinkles all right so very easy you know all you do is just wrap the clay and then you just you can either uh, roll it back and forth until you try to get those lines or do what I'm doing here just with your hand the palm of your hand just try to rub that and just uh, try to connect those two ends of clay together and try to smooth it out so once it so when it dries up they won't split or you won't see any gaps in there Then I'm just going to try to mimic like icing, you know, and these are the colors that I chose to go with. So this is going to be more like a summer pretzel because I'm using, I'm going to be using sprinkles uh, that have limes and lemons in there. And then here is my batch of sprinkles that I got from Play Code 3. I'm going to be leaving the link to um, their page or the website in the description box down below and also my code so you can use that and it's my discount code so very easy all i'm doing here is just first i actually i added some glue because i want to make sure that my sprinkles hold seeing that by the time i got up to the sprinkles my clay was somewhat dry and when you add your glue you want to make sure that you use a paintbrush and just even out the glue and then here at the bottom, I have these little um, 
kind of salt looking little rocks you know the mimic salt you know so i added that and of course i have to add my glitter and this is really easy you know i mean anyone can do this even the kiddos can do this you know so just make sure you supervise them because you want to make sure that they don't think that the sprinkles are real and they're going to try to eat them <laughs> so very easy nothing to it this actually took me no more than 30 minutes to make um and again you know you can use them in your kitchen you know as decorations you can use them as props if you have in uh, a gathering a birthday you can put them in your tree as well you know for decorations so really good really cheap to make really e extremely easy to do and yeah you know like i said this was an easy and quick video the same thing goes with if you choose to use uh, a pool noodle you know if you want if you like making those huge big ornaments you know decorations for your trees like during christmas or any other holiday um they will be great you know to you can add them in there so and again you know i don't remember where i got that one black pool noodle because it's actually not as big as the ones that we see at the dollar tree or at walmart or at your average pool noodle this one is actually a little bit smaller um, I think maybe it came from a hardware store. I honestly can't remember because I had it for so long and it was just sitting there. So I'm like, you know what? Let me see if in case they don't have this, what else can we use? So these are these uh, caviar beads that I got from Playco 3 and they are called cotton candy. So I thought that this would be a great addition to my pretzel, you know, cute, same colors, you know, and I really love how this is looking again you know you can use this also you can add them to your christmas if you're doing that whole uh candy theme you know and that's actually how i have my tree set up right now i'm doing the whole candy theme and i'm just because i have a small little tree in my craft room you know i just leave that all year round um well i'm actually planning to leave it all year round usually i i take it and put it in the garage this time i'm like you know what i'm just gonna put it somewhere where i know it's not gonna be in the way where i can get to it easy and just uh change out you know when the seasons comes you know or different occasions and what have you so here it is i mean again very easy um anyone can do this so thank you so much my friends for stopping by here let me share with you a closer look extremely easy love it i'm going to be doing more for sure so uh thank you friends again for stopping by and until the next time stay safe be kind bye